Hi guys, John here, Common Sense Outdoors. So sorry, it's been a couple weeks since I put a new video up for you. So I thought what we do today is when we made our bushcraft chair out at our little camp here, uh, I think it was the next video I had a cup of coffee. Kept setting my <clears throat> canteen cup on the ground. Well, after it's been in the fire, and you set it on the ground, leaves and whatnot stick to the resins they get on the canteen. Plus somebody uh, had a suggestion to do this, so what we're going to do today is make a table to go with our chair. Uh, got Tyler out here with me today. He's going to be behind the camera making sure uh, I stay in view and whatnot. Say hi, Tyler. Hi. And then uh, we're going to make us a table. Now there's lots of ways you can make a table. The most common is two trees. Just put a branch on each side of two trees, lash them all on, lay sticks across them, you got yourself a table. I would just want to use this one tree, the same tree I used for the chair. Uh, if I put it right, this branch will end up being in the small of my back and I'll never know it's there. You could also make a freestanding table, but by using even one tree, you gain a whole lot of stability. Your table's not going to get knocked over. So at any rate, I'm going to start, I went out and I spent probably about 15-20 minutes gathering up some sticks and cutting them and getting them somewhat ready to go for this. Uh, these two are flexible a little bit. And I've got a pile on the ground here in front of me. So we should be able to get through this fairly quickly. But what I'm going to start by doing is just lashing the two ends of these two pieces together. Got my bank line. Just gonna take this piece of bank line. Suck these ends all the way down tight together. Give it a couple wraps. Give it a couple fraps. I don't leave my tail very long. Alright, now next what I can do is just use the tree and pull my lashed end all the way in as tight as I want and then just bend these like that and we'll lash them together. So let me get one of these sticks. Probably have these a lot longer than I want them, but All right. give me a couple pieces of bank line ready to go here. Yeah, I know, it's tarred and I shouldn't put it in my mouth. Just holding it with my lip.
didn't leave myself enough line there. Okay, here's where we're ready to start coming together. really build this as sturdy as you wanted it to be. I'm not going to set anything heavy on it. Place to set gear, my cup of coffee, some books, whatever. branch, my support leg. <clears throat> you can get an idea how long I want it by looking up to my knee here. We might shove it in the ground just a little bit so let's make it just a hair longer than that. take my first table piece lash this right here right up against a tree I get right against the tree, what that's going to do is stop it from being able to slide back like this. I'll pull it out tight where I want it. Put this first lashing right here. I don't want anything sticking out here into my back since I'm using the same tree for my chair. Let me try to lash it somewhat flush right there. Of 
where some knots got to end up under there. Didn't think that through very well. Same thing on this other side. I've got another support leg if I need it. I'm actually going to cut these off. And we're going to add another one of these. About like so. Let me get that on. The more we get tied together, the more it'll sturdy up. And like I said, I have to put another leg on it. If I don't have to, we'll go with one. small fire going to keep the mosquitoes at bay Okay, now for the most part, that's going to do it. I think we are going to need our other support leg, probably right out on that end. Grab that. What? I just threw it. <laughs> And we're just a little taller than the knee again.
what we'll do is we'll go ahead and last her legs. Doesn't have to be anything fancy here. Alright, there's a framework getting much sturdier. Now we just have to see how close I am to having enough sticks for the table. Now there's two ways to go when you put your tabletop on. The first would be looks like it needs to tip down a little bit, doesn't it? Move it slow when you're gonna move it. First would be to have bigger pieces but then you have to you're going to want to baton them because when you start putting let me grab another one when you start putting big pieces on there you get pretty uneven so when you go to set stuff on it it's not going to set flat so if you go first the smallest sticks you can find by the time you start placing them on there they line up a lot flatter you don't have to do any batoning you might have to play a little bit to get them to line up with each other So, I have nowhere near enough sticks for this at the moment. So, what I'm going to do is we'll do a second part finishing this up. I'll go grab me some more of these sticks. We'll uh, finish this up. I've got a trick to show you. Give you an idea of what this is going to end up looking like. So anyway, let me go get some more of these little sticks found and cut, and we'll finish it up in part two. I'll show you a trick if you if you have uh, if cordage is an issue and you want to be able to hold all these little guys on here. There's a little trick to save you a lot of cordage that I'll show. So check out the next part if you want to see the finished product and the, the tips on that. And thanks for watching. Thank you for your support, your views, your comments, your likes, your subscriptions be putting up another video as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys.